I built my first AM radio with my dad, like full on, really soldering and building. I built, you know, so rockets and, and we, we launched those and we had telescopes and he was the first to show me Mars. And I slowly got into the, the space program that way. I knew in high school that I wanted to be an astronomer. You can discover new things and find out what's going on in a depending on what you're studying. For me, it's Titan's atmosphere. My name's Carrie Anderson, and I'm a space scientist at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, and I'm a team member on Cassini Sears. The Sears is called the Composite Infrared Spectrometer, and it's one of the 12 instruments on board the Cassini spacecraft, which is orbiting Saturn. And what Sears does is it goes beyond the human visible um, spectrum part that we see with our eyes into the thermal infrared, what I'll call it. So imagine sitting in front of a fire, and you, you don't, not looking at it, but you're feeling the fire, the heat from the fire. Well, Sears sees that heat and records it. And then we can tell what's going on. There's this molecule, there's this molecule, there's this type of maybe particulate, a cloud, to try to figure out, okay, what could that be? And that's what we're doing to find out uh, the type of, types of clouds that we see with Sears. But if you just kind of look at Titan from a big picture point of view, first of all, it's a moon and it orbits Saturn. It's Saturn's largest moon and it's the second largest moon in our solar system next to Jupiter's Ganymede. But what's really intriguing about Titan is that it, it's the only moon in our solar system with a thick, substantial, planet-like atmosphere. On Earth, in our troposphere, you know, when you look up and you see clouds, those are all made of uh, liquid water, maybe ice crystals or the combination of the two. Now Titan doesn't have that. It, um, it has methane instead, so you'd see all this methane rain, you'd see methane drizzle, methane clouds, all that. There's a lot of early Earth uh, scientists out there who want to learn about, you know, life. Is there life? Uh, well, you can go to Titan as one possibility because it can be representative of what the early Earth was like before, before we were here. It's a completely different um, environment than Earth, but it has a lot of similarities at the same time, and it's a very dynamic world. And studying it, you can do any type of photochemistry, different chemistry, different physics. I was always interested in math and science, but my dad, I think, was a key role. I enjoyed it, and I wanted to keep doing it and learning, and I'm here. Dream come true. <laughs>